Hi, um, this is Sam Sandoval. I'm a faculty and extension specialist at UC Davis. And today we're going to talk about the drug. So let's start with the basics. What is the drug? So any precipitation, when we accumulate the precipitation in a year and it is below normal, and I'm going to define normal, then we're in a drug. So normal usually is defined by, well, there are many ways of defining it. So if you accumulate the rainfall for many years, and then you figure out, <clears throat> you calculate what is the average of all those uh, different years. If a rain falls below this average, then it's in a drought. That will be one way of estimating. Usually people estimate it with the 50th percentile. So basically they organize the data from the highest precipitation to the lowest precipitation. And then they rank it and figure out what is the, the point in the middle, what is the precipitation in the middle. That will be your 50th percentile. If, you, if the precipitation on that year is below that threshold, then you're in a drought. So it doesn't matter, it might be raining, but you might, you, we might still be in a drought. Now there are droughts that are uh, moderate, severe, or that they are um, extreme, like the one that we had the last five years in California. So um, this year we have seen a lot of precipitation. So, <clears throat> we have seen a lot of precipitation here in the Sierras and actually throughout the state. So, indeed, I mean, the precipitation is above normal, above that specific threshold that we draw. It may be the 50th percentile of the average, but we are above normal. However, in the last five years, we have been uh, withdrawing water. From, uh, from our aquifers, and they have not replenished, have not going back to normal. So let me explain you. So in the Central Valley, we get our water mostly from aquifers. Aquifers are a storage of water underneath our feet, when we can actually um, withdraw water. During the drought, we withdraw most of our water from the aquifers, and all this water from the aquifers will help us provide water for cities and agriculture. During the drought, because we didn't have any rain or snow, um, we were taking water from the ground. And actually the water table, the water storage of the aquifers, was going down. As we have periods of rain, we, we now start replenishing our aquifers. What that means is they are getting filled back again. Um, however, they have not gone back yet to where were the levels before the drought. So even though we may have a lot of rain and snow in our Sierras and the coastal range, we haven't put all the water back that we take out before the drought, since the drought started. Um, so the take home message is that even though we may have plenty of water above the surface, um, keep always in mind that sometimes our aquifers have not been replenished as before the drought. So water starts smell, start melting we can start capturing all that water into our reservoirs. So the main idea behind it is that with the snow, it helps us to keep the, the snow in these months and then save it for later, where we can actually capture it in April, May, June. And then once we have a store, we can use this water for the purpose that we want, for the purpose that we think uh, are good agriculture, cities, recreation. So the importance of the snow melt is that it provides us this time machine to move water from times that we're actually not using it that much to periods of time 
when we need it. And it also provides us some means to adapt, to get ready for storing it. It can be in the storage, in surface water storage, or in the aquifers. That is the main importance of uh, snowmelt. As we're seeing it with climate change, we have not have, we will not have that much uh, snow, which that might be worrisome. Um, or it may happen earlier, and we will need to adjust how we operate our reservoirs and how we recharge our aquifers. To relate back to the concept of atmospheric rivers, these atmospheric rivers are the ones that are bringing a bind of moisture through California and that are helping us with rain, rainfall, and snow, snowfall throughout the state. Uh, stay tuned, we'll keep talking about water. Yeah. Let's keep in touch. Yeah.